Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you very much for taking the time to hang out with me today. So, as usual, another week, another event quest. This time special one, it's another one of the collaboration events, a crossover with Okami. So, if you don't know what Okami is, it is one of Capcom's older games. I actually believe it originally came out on the PS2 where you play the role of Amaterasu, the Japanese sun goddess, and where you are fighting against the eight-tailed uh, eight beast, whose name I cannot remember right now. It has been a while since I played the game. Uh, you want to take on Orochi, the eight-headed demon. That's right. Um, it is a really enjoyable game if you enjoy platforming puzzles, combat, amazing art style fantastic game uh, if you haven't tried it out i believe it is now currently at the time of this video coming out 50 percent off on the nintendo eShop. so check, go check that out for this event i believe we are unlocking special palamute layered armor the event quest is rising sun also this week they actually released challenge quest number two. I haven't been playing the challenge quests, so I'm going to be focusing on the event quest for this one. So apparently this one is a very simple quest. Over at the gathering hub, you want to make sure that you have a palamute for this quest, as apparently it makes it a lot easier to do. It is a low rank quest, and what you are looking for is 21 sun goddess pictures. So in Okami, you actually play as this, the Japanese sun goddess Amaterasu, who inhabits the form of the legendary white wolf. The armor in this case is, I believe it's a layered armor set to make you look like Amaterasu. So the client in this case is Senri the mailman. I've got a special quest for a Okami for ya. Collect the cargo strewn about the shrine ruins and I'll give you the materials to create layered armor that'll make your palamute look like the legendary sun goddess. So, let's jump straight into this one. I think I probably don't really need to eat and I don't think I need to get any. It is just a collection quest, so it shouldn't be too difficult. In most cases like this, they usually put uh, on your minimap where the items are that you need to pick up. So it should be fine. I'm guessing like with most of these quests, you will probably need to do it a few times in order to gather all the items. So the first one is actually right here. So small package. I have not done this quest at all. So I do not know what the most optimal route is. I'm just, I think I'm just going to work my way from the outside in and try and get everything i'm not going to boost too much mainly because i don't know where the next one is and i don't want to accidentally run past something so here we have another one so i really still enjoy just running around on the pedamutes i think it is one of the the nicer new features that they added into rise being able to fast travel like this, it does mean that when I use double palicos, I kind of forget how slow traveling in the game usually is. It's also really difficult whenever I go back to uh, World and Iceborne. Uh, you, even though there they had the... What was that thing that they called it? Where you can use... If you've befriended some tail riders, that's what it was. If you befriended tail riders, you can use them as like a taxi service. But you don't have control exactly over how those guys run. It's You give it a target and they find their way. Which helped. I mean, don't get me wrong, it made a massive difference to the speed at which you can travel in the game. But still it's it's not quite the same having full control over your palamutes in this case in this way it just makes a world of difference 
So I'm very curious how long this quest is actually going to take to finish. Because I'm sure you should be able to do this. Whoa, I missed one. But which one did I miss? Where did I miss one? Up here? Um... I'm confused. Is this one up top somewhere? Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that one is somewhere up top. So let's give it a quick skip for now. Those also look like they might be somewhere up top. So at this point it looks like traveling in a little spiral from the outside working in seems to be quite efficient. Uh, but now the question is where is the easiest way to go up? Do I want to go up here and then work my way around? Let's see now. So my guess is there's one here, and there should be another one here. But now, do I want to go back or do I want to go around again? Uh, I'm guessing, yep, it's up here. And then up here. And I'm, I'm guessing one of these is going to be the one that I couldn't find earlier. This one. So th there should be one up top here, which is, yes, there we go. That's the one that I was looking for down at the bottom, which I couldn't find. Okay. So probably not the most optimal route, but... It seems to have gotten me to here, which is, I suppose, where we want to be. So that's fine. Okay, so that was the first run. Let's actually see how long that took. That was less than five minutes. I'm guessing, as with most of these quests, you are going to need a few of them in order to craft the armor. But hopefully, with the items in hand, we can at least go and have a look at what it looks like. Quest bonus reward. A scroll depicting the divine beauty of Amaterasu used to forge Palimute later. The fact that this is a scroll makes me wonder and wish and hope that I can use it in my room as well. I wouldn't mind being able to hang a picture of Amaterasu on my wall. That would actually be pretty damn amazing i wonder i'm gonna go check my room first i wanna i wanna see if this is a thing i really hope this is a thing oh uh hello informant um that's not what i wanted to do no skip 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 oh man that's not what i wanted to do um i need to speak with the housekeeper, that's how you do it. Uh, change room interior? <gasps> nope, not there. Okay. That's a shame. Yeah, I really don't have a lot of... Like, I don't get a lot of uh, the, the room stuff. It, it's actually kind of annoying. It's like my luck when it comes to this lottery is... Is that a lottery? Ah, there's a lottery today. Uh, and I can only get a demon drug. Not exciting at all. Okay, so let's go have a look. Layered armor. Uh, this would be at the buddy smithy. Forge layered armor for Pelamutes special. Oh, I need fur scraps as well. And quite a bit more Celestial Scrolls. But let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. All right. <gasps> does it, it... Does it replace the weapon as well? Oh, man, that is so cool. I would love having two of these buddies run with me. 
That would be so cool. Okay, I need to wishlist this. I need to... Uh, oh, sub-menu? What? Change armor pigment? Why can't I... Change chosen. Why can I not add these things to my wish list? Interesting. That is really weird. Okay, but with that in mind, I think that is going to be it for this event quest. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that my strategy is going to help you run through it much quicker. I'm definitely going to do a few more runs of this so that I can get all of my palicos, ah, uh, palamutes, um, up into it. I think it's going to look really cool. I'm, I quite like this. And it's also kind of like making me interested in wanting to go and check out um, Okami again. It's been a while since I've played it. And being able to play it on the Switch might actually be quite fun. So I think I am going to call it quits. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. And if uh, I hope to all see you all in the next one, I believe there should be another event quest in a week. So looking forward to that. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>